Good morning. Good morning. In our last video, we let you guys know that we we're going to be launching a new website, some new merch, and coffee that's been inspired by you. We talked about the two different blends that we have. We have the Modern Homestead Cold Brew Blend. We have our Homestead Sunrise Blend, which is for more like hot coffee. This is for cold brew. And I was teasing that we've been working on another blend. And that one is, it's one of my favorites. It's called Campfire Decaf. I love the taste of coffee, and the older I get, I can't drink it all the time and just go to bed. When I was younger, I could drink a cup of coffee and then go to bed and fall right asleep. That doesn't happen anymore, so with the campfire decaf, we can be sitting outside at night by our campfire right before bed, drinking a nice cup of hot coffee, making some s'mores, whatever we want, and then we can still fall asleep. One of the great things about this blend that we've been working on, they're organically sourced coffee beans and it is mountain water processed. So that means there's no chemicals used to get the caffeine out of the coffee. Most decaf coffees, they use a chemical process to get the caffeine out. This one, it's not that way and it tastes delicious. We also made it so you can use it for hot coffee and for cold brewing. I've been enjoying it this time of the season, cold brew. The fact is that Al likes coffee cold or hot or anyway. Lukewarm, so. whatever. Yeah. I like my coffee. This one smells so good. It is nice black. I've never heard him say that before, but he does like this black. I love this one, black. It's got a nice smooth taste and it goes down so good cold. Hot, I don't like it so much black hot, but with the cold brew, it's good this way. So if you guys are looking for a good decaf cup of coffee, try the Campfire Decaf. This one is super limited. We only made a small roast of the Campfire Decaf because we're not sure how much you guys are going to like it. So we didn't want to have too much. Again, all of these are limited roast at the time because we want to make sure that these are roasted and you guys can get them quickly and have them fresh. We don't want to have a huge amount of these sitting on our shelves and then shipping them out to you. So we're having somebody locally roast all these coffees for us. We're taking them in-house, same with our merch. And we're gonna have everything in inventory. We're gonna be doing all of the shipping and all that fun stuff. So we have some fun things that we're gonna be doing when these orders get ordered and shipped out. But we're not gonna tell you that. You're gonna to have to place an order and see what it is. So we are excited. We're gonna have the new shirts, the coffee. We got stickers. We're gonna have some carpenter pencils, sweatshirts, all different things. This website is gonna launch 8, 8 at 6 a.m. So next Tuesday's video, when that video goes live, the website will be live and everything is limited. Can't wait for you guys to get some of this freshly roasted coffee and let us know what you think. They're all roasted with organic beans and they are delicious. And I just wanna mention, if you like soft shirts, the shirts are very soft. These are pretty buttery soft. We got some nice hooded sweatshirts. It's too warm today to put them on. Those are nice and cozy. If you like a little bit more of a tight fit, get your regular size. If you want something that's more relaxed, size up one size. That's what we've noticed with the sweatshirts. The t-shirts are perfect fit. And yep. they're nice, nice and buttery soft. So the coffee, I'm really pumped about because I love coffee. And this is one of the things that we can share with you. We love this lifestyle because we want to have delicious food. And that's why we live this way so we can raise our own delicious food. And we can't share that with you guys, which is a disappointment sometimes. I can't be like, hey, you want one of my chickens? Or, hey, try this. This is amazing. You just can't do that. But with the coffee, that's a different story. This stuff is delicious. And this is one of the things that we can share with you and we're excited to do. So now we can be having a cup of coffee with you. Right. You can be watching us. We'll be drinking coffee and you'll be drinking our coffee too. So we are excited for this. But yeah, so I guess that's enough talking about the coffee for now. I'll be drinking it while we're building, but it's time to get to work and stop putting some shingles on the roof and get the roof done. That would be nice. I had to change my shirt. It is a hot one already and I don't wanna be sweating through and getting our new shirts dirty already. So I just put a regular shirt on and we're gonna be shingling the roof today. We originally were gonna be doing metal and it was like a decorative metal. It was ribbed and it was black. We ordered it, it was supposed to take two to three weeks to get. It took over six weeks to get it. And then when we got it here, I measured it. They sent it seven inches short. 
it wasn't the company that we ordered it from's fault. It was the metal roof manufacturer's fault on their end and they would have replaced it. But I was just like, you guys have been a pain to deal with from the beginning. So I said, take it back and just give us shingles. So we're gonna be shingling this roof and I'm excited to see what it looks like. It's gonna give it a different accent on this part of the house. Right now it's graced and it's been graced ever since we built it. So it's gonna be nice to see what it looks like. All right, so we went with the Cambridge style shingles. I need to cut and make some starter strips. And then we gotta get our pattern cut and get it all marked out, cut up. So that way when we get up there, do the starter strip, and then I can start with our pattern and just work our way down. So we'll start with one full piece. I'll cut six inches off, save that. The next piece will be 12 inches off, so on and so on. And then we'll save those pieces that we cut off. And once we get up above, we'll start with those ones back. So it'll be like a stair step pattern, kind of matching the shingles. And it'll, it'll go nice, you'll see when we start. So we're kind of hoping for like a slate kind of look when we get done. So after all this time trying to figure out what we're gonna do for roof and then ordering roof and all this, we ended up, I know, with just shingles. But we're hoping with these shingles, the ones that we got, it will end up looking like kind of like a slate look and trying to give it a little bit more dimension because everything else is kind of a flat mat kind of look. And we're hoping that this is gonna kind of give it a little bit more of a look, but also I think shingles are a little are easy aren't they simple okay i don't know i've never done them before so i'm just talking thinking thinking it's something quick and easy we'll find out so in all my calculations i need to cut up 11 pieces and then these will be our starter strips and we'll keep these we'll probably end up needing this to finish it off up high we'll find out Just getting some text messages from Jason from So The Land and our new podcast, Homestead Shop Talk, which we've been doing for about four or five weeks now, just launched on iTunes. So it's been on all the other podcast platforms, but iTunes for some reason takes a long time to verify everything. So if you like to listen to podcasts on iTunes, Homestead Shop Talk is now on iTunes. So that is exciting. So I am doing a podcast with Jason from Sow the Land and Ben Holler from the Holler Homestead. All right, that makes number 11. Now I'm gonna cut and get our pattern started. So we'll go with a full one first. And then after the full one, we'll cut six inches off. All right, so we want to save this piece. Save this one. Do you have nails for this? I have the new fancy nail gun that we use for doing the soft uh, soffit material. That's a roofing nail gun. Oh. So we have that and all the nails to go with it. I'm pretty sure the right way to do a shingle roof is to hand nail everything. No, 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 no. They make these new fancy nail guns so you don't have to. And it'll be much easier for you when you're up on the roof for you to just use the nail gun versus hand nailing. Me? Yeah. Do you think you're going to see me on that roof? <laughs> I don't think come so. Come on, come on, come on, come mm -hmm. on, come on. I could probably get up, but getting back down would be even worse. And I probably couldn't move once I was up there. I don't think there's even a probably about it. All right, for my first starter strip, which will go this way, I want to cut off six inches. So that way our joints aren't lined up with the shingle. So we're 41. All right, 
let's get this going. I think we might have to take off our first two by four. I have a bunch of two by fours up there that I was using to stand on when I was doing the siding. I'm going to take those off. But I'm going to start with them up there. But they're going to have to all come down. We'll just work our way, pull them down as we're working our way across. But I'll start up this end. Start a nice square end on this side with no cuts. You'll see just all nice straight. And then we'll work our way down this way. Yeah, it's going to look so nice having that all covered up. All right, so now these ones, we want to start an eighth of an inch over the starter. So we'll have like a quarter of an inch overhang from our drip edge all together. We don't have enough to start on that one, but we will start on the next course. Sneakers. You don't have enough what now? I need three more starter strips and that should get us up to the top and then we can just keep working everything that way. looking good once the sun gets out here and heats up these shingles everything will really start laying down nice and flat and it'll look really nice the last row we're gonna have to cut right at this line so I'm gonna save this until I go back down. I'm just gonna continue working this way now. And the very last that we'll do towards the end That is looking sharp. We ended up going with Harvard slate for the roof color. And I like that, it just pops. It gives it a little bit different color against the black and that looks really nice. So we've gone through two bundles so far. We were told five should do it. 
Uh, it's gotta be close. I know I always say that, but man, I hate when you like got just enough and you're trying to figure, do I have enough? I think so. <clears throat> That is looking good. I can't wait till it's all done. We can stand back and get a look at it from the road and see what it looks like. I'm happy with that. We got a little bit left to do on that end and then we gotta do the final top piece all the way across. Man, it's coming out nice. The sun's out now, so it's getting warm up there, but that'll melt those shingles and get everything laying nice. They have like a tar on the bottom side and that'll stick to the other ones and the warmer they get, the flatter they'll lay and then they won't come back up. So it's looking good. You ready to go to work, Arlo? Now that we have all of the main shingles up, I gotta go back up there and put the last row up. And then it'll be done. We can step back and take a look at the whole roof from the road and see how it looks. It's gonna look so different. That will be the last of the big outside stuff. I was just looking. I gotta fill in those little corners, but that's nothing. Man, that's looking good. The best part is we got finished before Ken and his crew are back to start working on the workshop with us. We're so close to being done. We're gonna be using up like every little bit of shingle, which is nice. We'll have some scraps, but these are going to get used up. We have the last top, full top row in. We cut a piece, they had to go eight and a half inches. So we have like a two inch piece that needs to get covered. So now we need to rip these nice and thin to cover those up. So yeah, we're getting there. It's gonna look nice. It's just a bunch of little steps now. I'm gonna go get these installed and then I'll show you what it looks like. got the last piece done. It's time to get down. It is getting hot up here. So it's 103 in the sun. So I'm about ready to get down and have a little drink. I'm gonna have a nice little cold brew to celebrate. I haven't paid attention to the garden for two days and the zucchini got big. Look at this thing.
This is why you had to pay attention. They just all of a sudden just this would be good for freezing for muffins or bread or just going ahead and making bread, muffins, something like that. You can always do stuff with zucchini. Look at the buttercup. I am so happy with all of the zucchini and the cucumbers are coming in. Everything is starting to come in. I think that we could have onions if we wanted, pick carrots as we want. There's some small beets, all the things. I'm so excited. That is all done. One thing I didn't show on camera is I just went around and I glued down all of the starter strip. So that is all glued down first, nailed, and then I glued it all down once it was all done. One thing I need to do is I need to get back up there and fill in the screw holes for that black trim board and then paint it all. But it is so hot out right now and those shingles are so pliable. You get up there and you stand for too long and you can mar them up. So I don't want to do that while it's in full sun. So one thing I'll have to do is get up there, caulk those and paint that strip again. But other than that, it's done. It looks so good from down here. I like that contrast. Good morning. 5.30 in the morning and it's time to get the meat birds in there little pens and get them up been up for a while now getting ready for harvesting so it is a nice foggy morning this morning I already got stung by something right in the back of my head about a half hour ago. I couldn't see it, but I saw a wasp nest later on. So I will tell you that wasp nest is no longer an issue. But really, five o'clock in the morning and getting stung by a wasp? Oh, I thought they'd be sleeping. All right, that's one chicken tractor emptied out. We have 24 meat birds right there. I'm gonna say we got a little bit more in this tractor. And then we have five more over there in that tractor. So I'm going to say maybe around 60 meat birds this time. We're going to find out in a minute. But that's my guess right now. We'll go with 60. All right. 58 meat birds this batch. It'll be interesting to see how long they take us. But there are some big keggers in there. There's quite a few that are like the size of a basketball. So it'll be interesting to see how big they are. So we got all the 58 meat birds harvested, processed. We got half of them in the shrink wrap bags and now we need to get them dunked and ready for the freezer. They're looking good. They're nice and big. We don't have our scale here so we can't weigh them but some of them barely fit in to these large chicken bags. So they're gonna be delicious. Well, we finished up just in time. The rain is coming in. We just got done cleaning up everything, wash everything down, scrub it, put bleach in the coolers and stuff like that. One of the reasons we try to do so many meat birds in 
one process is because cleanup takes a lot of time. Whether you do 20 meat birds or if you do 75 meat birds, cleanup is the same. So that's why we like to do a lot at once. It makes for a big day, but that part is not any fun. So we do two batches and that's it. Then we're done for the season. We won't be raising meat birds again until next year which is nice if we did say 25 or 50 at a time we'd be doing even more and cleanup takes a couple of hours so it's nice to be able to get that all done and said with and only have to do it twice a year so it feels good our freezers are full of chicken that'll last us a year which is good it's gonna be good in our belly this winter and this time of the year too so I'm going to go inside because it's raining. I'm getting wet. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. Feels good to have the roof done. Our freezer's full. Now we just got to pick up our mess. If you guys want to try some coffee, that's going to be coming live on 8-8 at 6 a.m. And we are excited to share that with you. It has been delicious and it's going to be fun to be able to share something that's delicious with you guys. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.